Yo guys, what's going on? It's Day here, back with another video, and guys, as you can see, V.621 came out, and I'm so insanely hyped for these balloons. Kind of want to apologize if I seem a little bit tired. It is like 4 a.m., so I'm exhausted, but regardless, let's go ahead and get into this, the balloons. I'm so hyped about that. So first thing on here actually is a video. I have not seen the video yet, so we're going to go ahead and play that, and then I'll give my reaction afterwards. So let's go ahead and play that. All right, guys, the balloons look insane. I cannot wait to use these in game. I'm posting a video later today, guys. Make sure and subscribe to your post notifications on that we get notified when I post that. And it's going to be gameplay of the new balloons and like how they work and all of that stuff. That's going to be awesome. Another thing I want to go over in this video is what was changed. So it looks like updated port boards challenge grenade names. So they changed names for them. That's kind of makes sense. Makes makes a little bit of clarity when things come out. Improved clarity when you throw a port fort challenge. Okay, that's awesome because there's always a glitch where they wouldn't actually work. So thankfully they fixed that. And the new new weapons and items. So balloons added. They are rare. They come with 20 deployable balloons. So you get them in sets of 20. Allow players to defy gravity while holding up to six balloons at a time. Primary fire button to inflation button, secondary button to let go of balloons. So basically, left click to inflate balloons, right click to deflate balloons, it looks like. Can be found from floor loot, chests, supply drops, llamas, and vending machines, which means it looks like you can find them just about anywhere you want. Next thing on here is actually the grappler. It says, while grappling as a vehicle passenger, the velocity of your vehicle is factored into the grapple force. That's a lot of words. Pretty much what that, I think what that means is if somebody is driving a vehicle and you grapple onto the vehicle, you'll get flung even farther forward because of the force of the vehicle. That's insane. I want to see that in play. Oh my goodness, guys. Vaulted. The semi-auto sniper has been vaulted. And that thing was always kind of annoying. Yeah, it had 10 shots, but even if you headshot someone, if they had 100, 100 health, there was no way you're getting rid of them with just one shot, which was kind of not satisfying, if you want to mean. So I'm kind of happy to see it go. Not to mention you barely saw it in the game anyways. Along with that is the guided missile bless up. This gun was so or this gun, this this rocket, I guess, was so annoying. I'm glad to see that go, but the dualies, the dual pistols are also leaving. I don't know how I feel about this because I still use these. Yeah, they're kind of annoying. Their accuracy is awful. But if you got a headshot, that was like like 84 damage with the blue ones or purple ones. Like that was insane if you hit both shots. So I am a little upset to see those go, but I'm sure it'll be for the best. And obviously these items will still be around in playground mode if I want to ever want to use them. On top of that, 25% of explosive damage will now penetrate through structures and environment. That's cool. So if you place up a wall and it hits the, like an like a explosive hits the wall, 25% of damage will still go through that wall, which kind of makes sense. And this is gameplay. I'm glad to redeploy. We finished our first week of glad to redeploy being available in all modes. Doing this, we've been collecting some internal data, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like redeploying gliders are going to stay in the game for now. They seem to like it. I, it's growing on me. It's becoming part of the game normally. So I don't know. We'll see. Then additional gameplay changes. Grass updates more frequently as a result for smoother animation. Never noticed that before, but meh, whatever you say. Added Nintendo Switch. Okay. Um, but fixes an issue or picked up a trap could cause a hitch. See, I've never experienced any of these issues, these like bugs that they're that they're talking about. Certain bindings went over over lied, use full screen math and spectating. Okay. Fix the delay between using multiple small shields. Yes, this was so, so annoying. Basically, you take a mini and it'd be like and he'd sit there and then he'd go, Oh yeah, another mini. And you just would be spamming the button trying to get it. It was so annoying. I'm so glad they fixed that. Fixed an issue where inventory gets where where inventory could get stuck when using a grappler. I've never experienced that before either. And then that's also then audio intensified fiend hound or hunter crossbow fire sounds. That's good because it was kind of really low. And the reduced volumes of cube monsters and dynamic spawners. Okay, that's insane because those were so loud. Kind of irritated me. Hard make it hard for you to hear players or like gunfire so that's an improvement and also it's not easier to hear gliders which is good because gliders are staying in the game for now so that's also a good thing and guys that seems to be it for the patch notes for the v6.21 guys if you did enjoy this video and you see more make sure to hit the like button down below and also guys i'm releasing a gameplay footage as soon as fortnite goes up 
Because if you try to load Fortnite up right now, it says servers are offline, which means I can't play. But I'll be doing that later, guys. So get ready for that. It's going to be insane. Talk to you all later. Out.